Good morning and welcome to the children's story today. We're joining you live from the sunny beaches of Hawaii, live streaming straight into your lounge room this morning. And we're glad that you can join us today. My name's Katie and we're going to do a really cool experiment today to teach you about how great our God is. But I need your help because I can't do it on my own. Are you willing to help? Put your hands up at home if you are. Awesome. The first question that I have to ask you, I've got two questions before we start the experiment. And the first one is, what does it mean to be perfect? Yell out to the screen if you can tell me what you think it means to be perfect. Don't do anything wrong. Good. So if you're not doing anything wrong, that's what it means to be perfect. Great. Another question for you. What do you think the word sin means? Doing something wrong. Sin is when we do something wrong. All right. And when we do something wrong, it means we're no longer perfect. Okay, and so this morning's experiment is going to be about testing this theory of, um, of what's right and what's wrong. And so in order to do it, I'm going to get a little assistance from Sam, who's going to come up the front here. And I want you guys at home to use your imagination. And this morning, what I want you to imagine is that this candle is sin. All right, it's just like our sin. And I want you to think in your head of some things that you might do wrong that might be sin, all right? So you've got to think about that in your head as I'm lighting our candle this morning. And you'll notice that I'm wearing this cool white coat that Mr. Segovia lent me. And that is because when we do experiments, we need to make sure that we're protecting our clothing. So I'm going to light our candle. And you guys at home are thinking about some of the things that we might do wrong from time to time. Okay, and I'm going to hold this candle here and then I'm going to grab a balloon. You hold that on for me, Sam. Now this balloon represents our connection to God and this candle represents what? The sins that we have in our life. Awesome. Can you think of a sin, Sam, that we might do sometimes? Stealing. Stealing. Oh, I hope, boys and girls, that you don't do that. But stealing is something that's a sin and something that we do wrong. What do you think is going to happen when we steal with our connection with God? What do you think is going to happen when I put the flame underneath the balloon? It's going to pop. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think at home it's going to pop? Well, if you're scared of loud noises and you think it's going to pop, you might want to cover your ears. Let's see what happens. We've sinned. We've done the wrong thing. Oh, even I got a fright and I knew it was coming. All right, so that was something that we did wrong. We're going to try that theory one more time. Can you think of another sin, boys and girls? Get you to hold on to that, Sam. I need to grab my trusty... Oh, there it is. Almost lost it. My lighter. We're going to light up our candle again. And remember, boys and girls, our candle represents the things that we've done wrong. What's another thing, Sam? Lying. Lying. Now, lying is something that we're all probably guilty of doing from time to time. And God doesn't like it when we lie. So let's see what happens to our God connection when we lie. All right. Do you reckon it's going to change? No. Do you reckon it's still going to pop? Yes. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh. oh. Uh-oh. There goes our connection to God. That's not good at all, is it? Now, I wonder if we're going to be able to fix this on our own. I'm going to quickly get Sam to pick up all the bits of the purple balloon that he can, and he's going to put them in our hand, and we're going to try really hard to see if we can repair this connection with God. All right, Sam, pick it up nice and quick. I'm going to invite Grace to come over here and join us because we need two sets of hands for this part, and Grace is going to pick up all the orange bits of balloon. Can you pick up all the orange bits of balloon for me? There is balloon everywhere, so we need to quickly pick them all up. All right, come and stand over here. Now, we're going to try and fix our connection with God this morning. And so for Grace, I'm going to give her this really trusty sticky tape, which can fix anything. So Grace, I want you to work really hard. Hold on to that in one hand. Sam, rubber bands. Rubber bands fix everything. You can tie anything together with rubber bands. I'm going to give you a whole handful of rubber bands there, son. And I'm going to count to five boys and girls, and we're going to see if Sam and Grace are able to, on their own, repair their connection with God. Are you ready? Help me count them down at home. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. How do we go? All right, Grace, hold up your, your repaired connection with God, your balloon. She can't even separate it. Okay, let's have a look. Nice and close. What do you reckon, boys and girls? Do you think we could fill this balloon up and play with it? Um, don't think that Grace did a very good job there. Sorry, honey. All right, Sam, let's see how you've gone. Oh, not so good either. And so what we've realized is that we can't do it on our own, can we? I've got a really great idea though, kids. Are you ready? How about we just stop sinning? What? Let's just stop doing the wrong thing and then we don't have to worry about it. Is that a good idea? We don't try to sin. 
I know, we don't try to sin. And and if we think about stopping sinning, sometimes that makes us sin even more, doesn't it? So that's not going to work either. But I feel like I remember a Bible text that my Sabbath school teacher taught me when I was little, and it was found in John 3.16. All right, and it talks about sin, and we're going we're gonna to say it out together, out loud. And if you know this Bible text at home, boys and girls, I want you guys to say it out loud too. Are you ready? Three, two, one. For, For God, God so loved, loved the world, world that he gave his God only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life or eternal life. Awesome. I hope you guys did well at that Bible text too. And what that text is trying to tell us is that with God in our lives, he has sent his son Jesus to pay the price for all of our sins, for all the things that we've done wrong. So we don't have to worry about our connection with God getting busted. So let's try that experiment once more. All right. All right. Let me get all my stuff. Now we've got another balloon here. Looks a little bit like the last one. Sam, hold it up. But there's one thing that's different about this balloon. It is filled with something. In the Bible, it says that Jesus is like living water. And this balloon represents our connection with God, but Jesus is there. Okay, And when we've done the wrong thing, he is going to be there to pay the price for our sins. So Jesus in our heart, we've made another little bad decision to maybe tell an untruth. And we're going to see what happens when Jesus is in our heart. Do you think, boys and girls, that our balloon's going to bust again? Do you think that Sam would trust me if I did this experiment over his head? Because it might go everywhere, do you reckon? All right, let's see. So we've done the wrong thing. We have Jesus in our heart and let's see what happens. What? What? It's not popping. That's because Jesus lives in our heart. You want to blow that out for me, Sam? All right, so what the point of this whole story was is that sometimes we do the wrong thing, that's true, But we don't have to be worried. We know that our connection with God can stay strong if we invite Jesus into our heart because he paid the price for us on the cross. So anytime that you feel worried or afraid, I just want you to pray to Jesus and invite him into your heart. It was super fun doing this experiment with you this morning and we're looking forward to checking in with you again soon with another cool experiment. For all of us here at Hawaii, happy Sabbath. Bye.